He brings his homeschool teacher up to the treehouse because, yeah, wouldn't that make you the cool kid? Sweater vests and ties are totally in. No, this is enough. Did you eat this yet? Mm -hmm. Everybody has to. Yep. It's good. Oh, come on. He's had worse. He's worked for Jello. I love you, man. This house is falling faster than my movie career. Mine too. Oh. 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 So that entire scene was pointless, which leads to a nice bit of awkwardness when Jack asked Jennifer Lopez if he would go with him to the dance. I was thinking that maybe if, if you didn't have anything to do, that you might want to go to the dance with me. Jack, you don't want to go with me. I'm an old lady. <laughs> But that's why. I can't go with the girls my age because I look so much older than them. I would call the cops, I won't lie. It's also a little confusing that in this world they throw a dance for kids when apparently at this age they're still tossing water balloons at girls. Unless you want a couple of carries loose in your room, that doesn't seem like a good idea. Teachers and students don't go to dances together. Do you understand that? Oh, and by the way, that dance they're talking about never happens, because coincidentally, just at the moment of this emotional assassination, Jack also finds he's going through more growth spurts, which causes him to fall down and go boom. The physical signs of aging are going to occur more quickly. His body is working overtime. After giving him a get well gift, his mother thinks it might be best for him to be taught at home again. We're going to go back to the way things were before you started school. Remember all the fun we had? No! 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 Dude, you're being offered not to go to school! Take advantage of it! Dad! So he runs away and goes to the nightclub that Drescher says she often hangs out at. And I'm not gonna lie, the next 20 minutes has no purpose whatsoever. He talks with a guy about relationships who looks like John Edwards, which, if you've been keeping up, you shouldn't be talking to guys about relationships who look like John Edwards. He tries to hit on Fran Drescher. She lets out a velociraptor voice. Ah, what a nice surprise! Nice surprise! <laughs> he accidentally gets in a fight with Willem Dafoe, gets sent to jail, Drescher bails him out, and he stays away from public school. The f*** was the point of all that? Yeah, let's try this again. Let's try, I think you should stay away from public school. And now he stays away from public school. All the bar, dresser, green goblin -ish. Not needed! You could have cut this whole bar scene and you wouldn't have missed a thing. All you need to know is that he's sad, and leaving public school is enough to get him sad. This isn't Oliver Stone's The Doors. He doesn't need to go into a deep rock star depression. Oh, oh, give me another gallon of milk. Don't you think you've had enough? I'll tell you I've had enough! Oh, oh. So he gets depressed and never goes outside to play with his friends. I haven't seen him this low since Popeye. But the kids keep asking, hoping one of these days he'll finally come out again. Hey, Jack's mother? This is Pal! Can Jack come out and play? He doesn't want to. We really missed the way he called us names and threw water balloons at us. Can we have more of that? Um, is this really appropriate music to play? I mean, it's not like he's coming out or feeling better. He's still crying like mad in his room. This really doesn't seem to fit. Do other crying scenes work as well with this music? Remember how we were always saying what a pain you are? You're the world's worst dog. Don't believe it. Don't believe it even for a minute. You know, we couldn't find a better dog. But through the magic of 
Honestly, I don't know. Jack finds the confidence to go back to school and be with his friends again. Just when his best friend is saying what he wants to be when he grows up. Gee, could it be like his best friend, Jack? I want to be just like my best friend when I grow up. He's like the perfect grown -up. Because on the inside, he's still just a kid. It's like he's looking at everything for the first time. He knows how to be a great friend. More than most people look like adults. So I may not know what I want to be when I grow up. And right now I really don't care. I want to be like the giant. My best friend. Jack. You know, it's at cliched, horribly written scenes like this that, I'm sorry, I really cannot believe Francis Ford Coppola, THE Francis Ford Coppola directed this! Maybe it needs a killing spree. I mean, you know, a baptism at the end of Godfather isn't particularly dramatic, but with a bunch of people being gunned down, it suddenly seems really heavy. Let's try it. Let's see if the scene works better with a killing spree. I want to be just like my best friend when I grow up. He's like the perfect clone. Because on the inside, he's still just a kid. He's not afraid to learn things, or try things, or to meet new people the way most grown-ups are. It's like he's looking at everything for the first time, because he is. So I may not know what I want to be when I grow up. But right now, I really don't care. I want to be like the giant. My best friend. Jack. Nah, it still sucks, still sucks. <laughs> oh, it's still not funny! How often are they gonna skip around gigantic periods of time that we'd actually be interested in seeing? Peabody and Sherman stayed in time periods longer than this! What? I, uh, no. Uh, no, 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 I, I, Movie, for Coppola, okay, guy who transformed Brando into a frail old man, half a can of white spray paint doesn't equal frail old man! That's not a person who's had years and years thrown on his life, that's a bad Halloween costume of Mark Twain! The only thing missing is a fake Gandalf beard. That really would have topped things off. I'm cool. <laughs> and here's the biggest surprise of the movie. Robin Williams gives a big speech. You know, as we come to the end of this phase of our life, we find ourselves trying to remember the good times. You know, I'm convinced if you just take all the big dramatic Robin Williams speeches from all his movies and just put them all together, they basically just say the same thing. Let's try it. Where am I going to be in 10 years? Death is not the enemy, gentlemen. And the idea of someone telling me I can't be with them, I can't see the diseases of all. I'm quirky, which is good. I fought things and I won. I'll be saying this in the next five movies I'm in. I'll apologize by doing more stand-up. Yeah, yeah, I had a feeling. So he rides off with his friends and... That's it! Yeah, we don't know what happens after that. We don't know if he goes on and dies or if he makes anything of his life or it just sort of stops. Um... Did you learn anything, audience? Any stuff that might help you if you ever turn into a ten-year-old trapped in a man's body? Well, I've learned something! I've learned that this is the best choice that Francis Ford Coppola has ever made since he said, Hey, you know what my Dracula movie is missing? One of the guys from Bill and Ted! I literally feel nothing coming out of this. If it focused on him getting older or even dying or... How about just getting the details about the actual age right? Then maybe something, but as is? There's a lot of other movies that do the little kid in the big body thing better. Like Big, Vice Versa, or Freaky Friday. Which one? Either of them! They're both better than this emotionally lacking experience. I mean, okay, sometimes it's a little gentle and sometimes it can have a nice scene, but it's very rare. And honestly, Jack is not really much of a defined character. And a lot of that is because they spend more time on pointless scenes and obvious humor. 
Williams, you know the drill. For Coppola, shame on you! This movie deserves what I like to call the traditional For Coppola treatment. Hail Mary, full of grace. Blessed art thou amongst women. Nostalgia critic, I remember it so you don't have to.